Space became real to Dr. Jennifer Heldman when she was in the third grade. So one night, my mom brought the telescope out onto the deck in the backyard, and we pointed it at the moon. And so I looked through the telescope, and I looked at the moon, and I was blown away, because when you look through this little telescope, you could see there were mountains, and there were craters. That vivid moment, and Space Camp the movie, set young Jennifer on her path. She and her friend Tara watched Space Camp so many times, they memorized it. She likes to remind me I would get mad if she messed up the lines, Jen said. Jen's mom sent her space-focused daughter to the real space camp. It was the very first time I was surrounded by people like me in this place dedicated to space, Jen said. The possibilities began to seem real. I still thank my mom for that. When she got to Colgate University, she majored in astrogeophysics, a degree that is equal parts astronomy, physics, mathematics, and geology. We may have one astrogeophysics major per year, her professor, Dr. Thomas Balanek, says. From Colgate, Jen went to the University of North Dakota, where she got a master's degree in space studies, and then to the University of Colorado for her doctorate in planetary studies. Today, she works for NASA, researching her old friend, the Moon, as well as Mars. For her work, she travels to Mars analog environments, from the Australian outback to the Antarctic. Her work focuses on water and will help prepare for the human exploration of Mars. It's test before you fly, the space camp way, Jen said. If we figure it out on Earth, we're better prepared for the Moon and Mars. While she has dozens of peer-reviewed publications and conferences, Jen really enjoys speaking to young people just like she did when she worked at space camp while in college. The best job ever, she said. When she speaks to young people now, she encourages them to find something they love and to do something bigger than themselves. In addition to her demanding career, Jen and her husband, Dr. Adrian Brown, have three children ages six to eight months. And somehow, she manages to balance it all just as she did at West Hill High School in Syracuse, New York. Jen was probably the best student I ever had in my 30 years of teaching here at West Hill. She was an all-around good kid. She was in band. She played varsity soccer. She was editor of the yearbook. And she was very well-rounded. She's much better at what she does than I am, her professor Balanick said. Of the over 100 students I have been very close to, she's easily one of the more successful and one of the students I am most proud of.